Well, hello there. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the third of Boog Designs vlog. We're still up here in my attic, and we left off the with the second vlog about a special letter that I discovered here in this briefcase. And this is a, a type of time capsule taking us back about 25 years. So I wanted to discuss today that letter and the importance of study, taking an academic approach to the art of animation and illustration. Uh, and this folder here was the, uh, the discovery that I'd made, which was an old letter that, uh, that I'd written to the Walt Disney Company. Uh, I've always been a student of animation. Uh, this was a report that I found in that briefcase all the way back in, to 1990. And as you can see, it has the old dot matrix uh, printing style on this paper. This was an old report and notes that I had taken from books that I had read. And so this was really neat to kind of go back in time here and see all of this. But I had written a letter to the Walt Disney Company, and I just wanted to uh, share with you a little bit of that. Uh, for almost 10 years now, I've been intrigued by the process of Disney animation. Uh, upon seeing the attraction, the magic of Disney animation, at the Disney MGM Studios in Florida, I vowed that someday I too would be an animator for the Walt Disney Studios. I'm now 20, and uh, currently attending the California Art Institute in Thousand Oaks, California, to further my knowledge of figure drawing, quick sketch, and life drawing. Recently I spoke to an in-betweener at the Walt Disney Studios at the Pocahontas Animation Discovery Adventure in Glendale, California and asked him what steps I should take in pursuing my dream. And he responded that first I should take as many figure drawing classes as possible and second he directed me to write to the Walt Disney Studios and asked them to mail me some information that would guide me along the path. And so I did just that. I wrote them that letter and I got this packet back. And in, in this packet was a book list. This was all the relevant books on anima um, animation back then, and a sample drawing portfolio. And in this portfolio, it shows samples of the type of caliber of artwork that Disney wants to see from their artists and people that are submitting to uh, to get a job there. So I also had a list of all the different animation studios in the area. And as you can see, I marked that up pretty well with a lot of different phone numbers and contact information. And so then I started through my studies at the California Art Institute. I put together an 18-week program, and I just did this myself to really take an academic approach to drawing. And week one focused on the eyes, and week two the nose and the mouth, and then I started on the legs, feet. Uh, eventually I got to the complete figure, making sure the proportions were right. And then I got into animals, dogs and cats, bears, rabbits, all different types of animals to make me proficient and really take an academic approach to studying. Through those years, I have had some wonderful mentors. Uh, one of my first uh, mentors was a gentleman by the name of Lenord Robinson, and uh, you know he was he was just fantastic in, in helping uh, to share his knowledge with me uh, when I was very young. And then my second mentor was a gentleman by the name of Mike Kunkel, which if you haven't uh, picked up his book Hero Bear and the Kid, I would highly recommend you go to your local library and look that up. Mike Kunkel's Hero Bear and the Kid. And then I learned cleanup animation by James Burks. Uh, all of these, all these names are on my Facebook page, so you can look them up through my friends list. And then my fourth mentor recently was a gentleman by the name of Stephen Silver, who I attended a recent lecture about uh, four or five months ago of his. And one of the things that stood out from what he shared with me is, is to uh, not be competitive but be creative. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of uh, the academic approach to. You know what's helped me over the years and where I'm at today. Hope you found value in, in learning a little bit about how I got started and I look forward to sharing more with you on the fourth installment in the upcoming week. Have a great day.